Today we'll be adding VFX and SFX, fixing some minimap stuff, adding titanium plates to all 21 bikes, and building a loading screen. That's right, not just a black background with a couple pictures on it, actually building a scene. Hey guys and welcome back. I'm sorry if it seems like I've been uploading too many dream game videos or live streams. I have been super motivated recently. And it's just, if there's one thing I've learned as a self-employed person, if you feel motivated to work, just work, because you might not wake up motivated tomorrow. So guys, uh, th I'll diversify some, uh, some videos soon, okay? But for now, dream game. Anyways, now that my life story's out the way, let's hire a VFX designer. VFX are those cool particle pop-ups you see in popular games, mainly anime ones. Now, I'd like to have VFX for scrapes. If you don't know what that is, look, look at this clip. It's your boy, scraping that bad boy. <laughs> I want VFX for burnouts, which uh, I'm, I'm not gonna do any of those. I don't wanna ruin my tires. Tire marks, so after you like press shift to kind of drift a little bit, it'd be really cool to have a tire mark behind it. And last but not least, something that kind of emits from your character when you level up. I'm thinking some sort of blue explosion or something. Now, I'm gonna hire somebody from the Hidden Devs Discord. It is toxic 99% of the time, and I don't go in there unless I absolutely can't find anyone else. I've looked on Twitter, I've asked my Discord, I have asked friends, I have asked friends of friends. Guys, last resort is hidden devs. Even though it's toxic, it's usually pretty easy to hire somebody. All right, I scoured through the VFX hiring area and unsurprisingly found somebody named Poopy. So I guess let's just give them all of our money and hope for the best. All right, guys, they actually did all of them all of the vfx it took just a few hours and they sent me gifts of all of them and then they said hey once you're ready to pay let me know and i'll send them over and i said yo i'm ready and then they responded 13 hours later but hey here we are we have the vfx now we need some sound effects to go alongside the vfx just to make them pop a little bit more now to get these vfx i'll be using a site called artlist it's not a sponsored video or anything, but I'm paying for a subscription there, so I might as well try there first. Anyways, on to the VFX sounds. For the tire squeal or screech, whatever we want to call this, we're going to use this sound right here. Not bad. Now we need one for scraping, and I think this sound will work good. For now, it might get changed later. Cool. Now, the burnout will be a mix of bike engine and tire screech, so I can't do that one right now. Don't have a bike engine sound offhand, but uh we can use our imaginations. Now, all that's left is the level up sound. This should be by far the easiest one to find. I think this one sounds good. Nice. So let's download all of these sound effects, toss them in a folder so they're ready for the programmer when he's ready. All right, guys, we have finally come to a point where Robo and I are online at the same time. I'm gonna ask if he could do those minimap changes I would like. Uh, number one, there's a map on off button on top of the chat and I think it looks tacky. We could just throw that in a menu, like a settings menu, and it would just look a little bit cleaner. Number two, when you full screen the map, you have to press M to close it, and some people might not know that. So I want to have like a like an X button in the top corner as well. I just feel like it'd be more intuitive if that's the right word. Now, while he's doing that, let's hop into our blender file with our 21 motorcycles and add a titanium block to all of them. These aren't the final ones. These are more so a temporary block just so we have something that can scrape along the ground. This is gonna be pretty much a copy and paste process with slight variation on each sum. And yes, each sum because each one, well, that's we're not burying all of them. Now, I do want to make a whole stream or video later modeling the correct stunt parts. These would be 12 bars, scrape pads, uh, cages for the, for the bikes, everything like that. So if you want to see it, drop a like on this video. Now that all of the boring stuff is done, let's move on to the actual building. Something I feel like I haven't done in forever on this channel. So I wanted to build a loading screen where your camera like follows your mouse. So if your mouse is here and then you're like this, the camera kind of like, I think you guys understand what I'm saying. The, the camera's controlled by your mouse. I think the only UI I'll put on the screen is the game logo, a temporary logo for now, and a play button. Maybe a little updates thing later, and maybe a subtle loading bar, all right? Something very clean and minimalistic, but for today, it's just gonna be a temporary game logo and a play button. So for the background, I don't just want a picture. I wanna make a whole bike scene with police and stunters doing wheelies out from like under a tunnel bridge thing. 
I don't know. I think it's going to be sick. I also want to make sure that I'm showing off some of the tricks that you're going to be able to do in the game. So starting this build off, I just copied a bridge section from the main map. And then I removed the on and off ramps and rearranged the pillars to make it look a little bit better for this scene. Now, I want to give this road a big highway effect instead of just a normal road. So we're going to change up the lines on it a little bit. Instead of these lines here in the middle and some on the sides, we're going to add three sets of white dotted lines. This implies that all the traffic goes one way and there's three lanes of travel hopefully making it feel a little bit bigger than it is. Now let's add some terrain to this build, just using the little cylinder, kind of spraying it on, scraping it on, drawing it on, whatever. We're just making terrain, okay? We're not that good at it, but I don't think it has to be that good for this build. You know, right after doing the terrain, I decided to cover all the terrain up with a wall. So yeah, now we're just focused on the tunnel. Now, lightning isn't exactly my strong suit. There's a lot of things that aren't my strong suit. You know what? We're getting better. We're getting better daily. Guys, we need some subtle lighting within the tunnel so it's not dark all the way back. So let's just add an attachment and a point light. I tried a few different things. Originally, there was two point lights in each of the... Uh, white rectangle lights I made and it just seemed off right why is there two light projections with one light bar so we changed that up changed a few things now we have one attachment with one point light in each of them and they're nice it's just a nice hint it's not overbearing and I think it turned out really good lighting wise at least now for the loading screen I do want police cars in the back not only will this add the like a dramatic effect to the scene but there will be a cops team in the game Will they have cars? I'm not sure. I think they're going to have police bikes. So maybe later we'll change this loading screen to police bikes, but I haven't modeled those yet. So into the the forbidden toolbox, guys. I'm toolboxing a cop car, okay? I'm doing it. Now with the cars added, we need to add to the effect of these police cars. So I'm going to make police lights using two attachments. I tried a lot of different methods for this. This is what I stumbled on. Two attachments, one on this side, one on this side. This is red, this is blue, and they're grouped together, okay? They're in a part. And then you just spin the part around. Woo, 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 something like that. I think you guys are getting what I'm saying. Now that the background of the scene is done, let's move on to the main portion of it. I imported a few bikes from my Blender file and we just started coloring them. Now, I wanna show off the fact that there's mopeds and big bikes and little bikes. So we have one moped, three big bikes, and I deleted the Grom because it just didn't fit the scene. So no little bikes in this one besides the moped. Now that they're colored, let's pose the bikes. I want the one in the front doing a stoppy because I feel like that's just a trick people think is cool. I want me sort of in the back doing a scrape because I just learned them and I still feel cool. I want someone on the moped doing a wheelie and I want someone on the F4i doing a rolling burnout. Now, when it comes to characters, I didn't exactly know who to put here. On the 636 in the front, I put a YouTuber named Brian636. I have his shop built within this game as well, and he is aware that his brand is being used within the game. We also sell his merch within the game. So for anyone who's like, oh, you just, stop it. <laughs> so Brian636 in the front doing a stoppy. Myself, yours truly, Mr. Roll Builder, or stunt name, I am Golden. In the back, on the Golden MT-07 doing a scrape, we have this random avatar on the moped. And then on the FRI, I didn't know who to put, but I was like, hmm, I'll just search the toolbox. So I typed in avatar. And then when I saw Hazm, I was like, we got to put Hazm in here. If you guys don't know, Hazm donated 900,000 Robux to this project. So I just felt like it was only right to put him in. My girlfriend also asks to be in the scene, but she doesn't do any wheelies or anything. So I told her she could be in a cop car. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll go toss her in the cop car now because I forgot until I'm recording this part. All right, guys. So the build for this area of the map is done for now. We just added a depth of field uh, thing. I don't know what it's called. Effect, depth of field effect and lighting. And it only happens when you're on the loading screen. And I think it looks way more cinematic and way more cool. We also got in all of the VFX because they finally got sent over to me. And my friend Funky Squad offered to hop on and pose these avatars. So all in all, it's a win-win-win and I can almost go to bed. Yes, it is light outside behind me, but I've been up for a very, very long time. <laughs> all right, guys, with the scene fully built, the avatars, the bikes, everything posed, the VFX added. I think this loading screen looks 20 million times better than our previous one. Not only is it a bit interactive by being able to drag your camera around with the mouse, it's just 
a little bit different than most other games. I don't know why my first idea a few months ago when we made the loading screen, for a video by the way, if you wanna watch, you can go check that out. Anyways, I don't know why my idea was a simulator loading screen. Maybe because I've only ever made simulators and it's been quite out my comfort zone making a game like this. But the loading screen's done, I think everything looks sick, and I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. So if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.